Alright Chris, so I'm going to make a quick video of relics, how to get them, and kind of what I know for right now, of what they're for, and what to use them for. Either way, so let's get started. So, um, when you get to, I think, Mars, you can get, you do a quest, and you get the thing for this void relics, I believe, this little pedestal. That or it's already there, I can't honestly remember. But anyway, we can go here, and we can see what relics we have. Um, like this one, where is it? This one right here says exceptional, to get off Mars to the next, um, planet I had to refine one so how you refine one is you come here and then you click on it right here right and then you refine it you make it exceptional flawless or radiant now what this does is you can see right there in these blue lines percent it increases the print percent drop chance so say I really wanted that Syrian prime blueprint well I would refine it for 100 and then it gives me a better chance of getting it and then where I would use them at is I'll come right up here and then I would go to this little burning looking thing and it said void fissures. I would say, all right, which one do I want to do? Well, I'm a lobby, so I can't go no further than this. This is an exterminate. That's a spy. I don't really care for spy missions personally. If I can click this and then it's going to say, all right, what relic do you want to use? All right, well, I want to use, let's see this one. And then it'll say right here, I, all right, I can do this on that one. I can use this one. I can use this one. You can see that exception was not here. It doesn't classify. So let's see if maybe it'll classify over here. And then, yep, there it is right there. So if I really wanted this one right here, I would use it. Which, I only made this exceptional because it was the cheapest one to make and I needed to get off Mars because I'm on my way to Jupiter and Saturn. But I stopped to make these videos for you. Now, how do you get relics, you might be asking. Let me see, I didn't mean to click that. We will go to um, Earth because that's the easy one. And we would do an excavation mission. You can get them from... Um, defense missions, but that's just a little bit harder because the waves get harder and harder and harder as they go. So when you get to about 20, you would want to quit just because that would be the fourth loot round, and the loot table is A, A, B, C, and then it, it just gets harder past that point. Point, and then you have to get to 40 just to get all the way to C. E. And it, it, this right here, the difficulty is not going to change. You can go to excavation, and just wreck everything, and keep doing excavations and look, rolling through the loot table till you get relics and I'm gonna do one real quick and we'll see if we get some relics but um the whole purpose of the relics are you would farm them and then you put them you would go to that little amber icon that I showed you and from there you would see what relic gives and if you're looking for a certain blueprint to make an item for a frame or if you're looking for a certain frame let's see what's telling us to go you would you know you would use that relic in that I think they call them void, yeah, in the void fissure. You use that relic in that void fissure, and hopefully you would get the drop that you want. And if you don't, you can uh, pick the drop that, oop, the wrong way. Um, you can pick the drop from someone else got. You can, like, say you got a really crappy drop, or someone got the drop that you wanted. You can just pick it. So, anyway, so you can see that thing comes down from the sky. So, let's see. Um, let's start killing some stuff, see what we get here. Oops, hit the wrong button. Whoa, new moment, and my pet killed it. Awesome. So we'll just spin right here. This C, he's got a little cell on his back. That's what we need. See how he lost power already? Every one power is one second, so it has 80 seconds left, so I need four more of these. So that's one. All right. I don't see no one with that, but I don't want them to destroy it. Get out of my face. Alright. Let's grab this one. That's 1%. It's out again. There we go. Only a certain amount of um, little dudes. See, that guy's got the cell. Only a certain amount of those will spawn. They don't just spawn an X. Like, they do spawn an X amount. They don't spawn. Um, like an unlimited amount. Sorry, I can't think and play apparently. So there's my last one I need because I'm at 17 or 16 percent in 37 seconds. So as soon as I wipe all this out and I pick that up, since I'm so close to it being done anyway, since so it's at 26 seconds, I am going to kill all this stuff. He's got a cell. That's perfect because what I'll do is, since I'm farming, quote unquote, I'm gonna grab a cell and I'm running away to the next one. And you can see on the mini map that little yellow triangle, which I know you're colorblind, but that's near there, yellow triangle, go in this direction, 
Oh snap, I just fell off the map. No worries. Let's go down here. You can also see my mini map. That's what that little oh got endo. Nice. But um I know I said in that one I said I have animal instinct. It shows me loot. You can see that little square right there on my mini map. It's this little crate. It just tells me, hey, there's a little crate there if you want it. Oh look, zip line. Yeehaw. Wait for some people to show up. So uh, since I didn't really clear out that area before, if there are people with cells on their back, unfortunately, since I took off on them, and typically that's why I try to kill one and run off with it. Um, so maybe it'll, you know, not spawn over there. I don't really know how that spawn hole thing works. That whole spawn thing works. But hopefully it would come over here, but it's not looking like it is. So see, this one stopped at 60. Uh, 60 seconds with the last one stopped at 80. See how they all followed. That means this one's only going to need three. Okay, so there we go. Power cell. Let's jump over here real quick. Get away from it. Pick this one up. Now we're going to go down a little bit more. I only need one more, and this one's done. Hopefully, we'll get us a relic. We can make like a baby and head out. <laughs> Nothing. They don't have cells either. You do not either. Dang. I just need one more, guys. One more. There you are. There you go. There you go. And look right there. It also replenished it's uh, health a little bit it looks like and it's shield but the shield regenerates anyways if it's not taking damage but I just kinda let it die for a little bit there I was letting it kinda go away take better care Oh dang got endo oh well that makes sense cause the loot table is A A and then B and then C so I don't sure if uh, if relics are in loot table A I could Google that Ooh, and find out. I'm sure it's out there. I th actually a guy data mined the game and found out what the loot table was. So I guess this was years ago though. I don't think it was recent. But I just started playing the game. That's just what I heard. Hearsay, hearsay. Alright, so here we go. This one's going to need four more, it looks like. There's one. I want this one. Is it not? There it goes. Give me my relic. Now, I'm not too sure if certain relics drop from certain maps. That's probably true. So, now this one's done. So, I ain't got to worry about cells anymore. So, this guy can kill him. And then I can just leave a cell on the ground. And then if I want to go to the next one. So, I probably will start running off to it. Just in case this doesn't drop a relic. I'm, su I'm sure you don't believe that relics drop from this. I'm sure you don't take my word for it. I wouldn't take my word for it. I mean, golly, who am I? So here, don't run for me. Whoops. I guess I shouldn't hit all day. 30 seconds. This is what I meant to do. There we go. Just for fun. If I could get over that right there, that'd be great. As you can see, I just swing wildly like a rabbit animal. There's no real sequence to what I'm doing. Just kind of slide and swack away. All right, so I'm at five seconds. I got rambling. You know, I was killing stuff. So let's run away. Let's see what we get, though. Oop, I got a relic. So I could really just go to the end. There's your relic. But since I'm here and I'm going to be on the C loot table, I'm pretty sure C gives relics. Oh, look, I ain't got to go no further than this right here. How convenient. I'm definitely doing it now since it's so close. And then look, a sour. It was just meant to be, my friend. Look at that. So I need two more. There's one on your back. Give me it. Oh, I didn't kill you. There it is. Thank you. Next. Okay. 
Maybe this time I can pay attention and I can get out a little early and make this as short as possible. Let's see. Go. And boom. Goes the dynamite. You're done. So I'll kill this guy. Now I just got to defend it to about, I don't know, 20 seconds, 25 seconds. As long as they're not like a mob. Because you don't want them to destroy it as you're walking away. That would not be good. If they were, though, where it says total, um, I'm sorry, crotic, cro whatever that shit is that's been excavated, that total, say it breaks at, um, I don't know, like 50 or whatever, it's going to give you the 50. That's, it's going to give you what it has, but I don't really know what that goes towards. I don't think that's any benefit. It might be benefit to XP, not too sure. But I'm going to do that for the fun of it because it doesn't matter. I'm at 27 seconds. 24, I'm running away. It doesn't look crowded. I'm going to kill these people. Get out of my way. Let's go. And then that's going to finish. And we can see the health right there. It's still at 50, 250. Or 250. 2,500. Oops. Sliding the wrong way. Oh, look. See on my mini map that blue little thing? Oh, yeah. Now this right here, it's a good thing this happened. I can show you. And look, got a relic. Hot dog. That scanner. See this synthesis scanner? Click it. It's going to activate it. I don't really think it shows anything. And all I do is just click and look. Bam. Got it. Now watch. It's going to say Earth found. I found one of three to unlock that little image. I don't know if I've shown you that. I might need to show you that. So I can see it still shows that I have that equipped. But if I hit E, it's going to pull my weapon. But it still has that equipped. To unequip it, I can just hit Q and then click it. Or I can hit F and then it's going to pull my weapon. Or and then I can just hold F to switch back to melee. Oh, oh, almost fell off. And then jump here, and we're gone. So we got two relics, some credits, some endo. And look at that, Rudo Kyrie. Kyrie I don't know what that shit is. Never paid any attention. But there you go. Got us a couple mods. Don't really need either one of those. And some XP. And we found that um, fragment, so that's always good. And... I think that's where I'll end it, and I'll make a video about these fragments and that little thing separate, just in case you want to watch it. I don't want to make this too long. But anyways, I hope this helps, buddy.